Courts is a senior, ranked 13th in the nation, 12 and 6 on the Now Kenny Courts here versus Wyatt Wilson for Indiana. Indiana. Wyatt, Wyatt Wilson is subbing in for Matt Eric. You know, Wyatt Wilson here was academic all Big Ten as a freshman and finished in third place in the Eastern Michigan Open. Yeah, Wyatt Wilson, one of those players, for, uh, one of those wrestlers for Indiana that's actually from the state of Ohio. So an interesting little, little tidbit there, especially going against Ohio State. The redshirt sophomore Wyatt Wilson is. Kenny, Kenny Quartz, 13th ranked at his uh, weight class at 184 pounds. He's from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, currently sitting at 12 and 6 record this year for the Ohio State Buckeyes in 91 and 34 in his career. He's a redshirt senior, and he was all all American last year at 184 pounds. Yeah, Kenny Court's not really the, one of the known as one of the stars for Ohio State, but he is one of the one of. I mean, they have so many good wrestlers. Where they have nine rank wrestlers. Uh, it's 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 something along those lines. And if 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 you, if you count Kyle Snyder, it might be 10. I th yeah, I mean, he's a two-time high school champ. Is Kenny Court's, and 20 last year he was fifth in the NCAA's. 26 and 11 overall is a big year for Kenny Quartz here as he looks for a win over Wyatt Wilson of the Hoosiers. And going into his redshirt senior year, he's going to look to improve on that fifth place finish in the NCAAs last year. He's, he's finding himself in a good spot in the rankings right now at 13, trying to add to that. He's got a leg for, of Wyatt Wilson here. Oh, and he, get, and he gets, gets a takedown here. And as Wilson is going to try and... Uh, Oh, he's, is he going for the pin here? He's got a, he's keeping his posterior in bounds. I think he's going right? for the near fall. Looks like he's reestablishing position behind him, keeping the feet in bounds. That's, that's, that's something that uh, has been stressed over the course of this match, keeping that one foot in. And a four, it was a four-point near fall for Ohio State yeah, as he was able to get Wyatt Wilson on his back for four seconds. Kenny, Kenny Quartz off to an outstanding start here for the Buckeyes, uh, out, out to an 8-1 lead. Yeah, communication major and... Communication paramount, especially in wrestling from the coaches, getting all the information you need, especially looking at the tape, getting ready for this matchup. In la last year in the Big Ten, he, w he w uh, finished with 32 awesome. wins. A very, very impressive number, especially considering Nate Jackson of Indiana, who's eighth in the weight class, only had 30. So I know, and uh, Kenny Quartz actually beat that pace. Yeah, Kenny Quartz, this, this is last year in college. He's going to try to, once again, improve on that, what he, what he was last year. He's 12 and 6 so far this year. 91 and 34 career, so. It's possible he could still get to 100 wins in his career, which would be quite a quite a, a feat. He's, he's certainly got the ability to do so, as we're seeing right now with him against Wyatt Wilson. But Wyatt Wilson does get one point there, edging into that deficit, uh, which was seven, now six, in favor of Kenny Courts. He, he, he does have some ground to make up, but as we've seen throughout the out tonight, it, no lead is safe here with, between these two teams. Now, if Wyatt Wilson's going to pull out his inner Jake, Jake Danis track, he's going to need to find something within him. Look, and so, like I said before, the if you're gonna fall down big early, well, you might as well fall early, because we have plenty of time to uh, get yourself back up. As we as we learn with Danicek. And Kenny Quartz was an NCAA qualifier both the past two seasons, I think I said, and that includes his fifth place finish last year in the NCAAs. Both wrestlers feeling each other out right now with about 20 seconds left in the period. Interesting about Kenny Quartz too. His first season did not compete for the Buckeyes because of injury. This is just his third, his, his fourth full season of competition. His his, uh, his freshman year redshirted because of injury. Yeah, he seems to be fully recovered now. Yeah, looking at the score, it does he does seem to be more than fully recovered? Does Kenny Quartz? He's got an eight-two lead heading into the second period, and it looks like uh, Wyatt Wilson's going to start from the bottom position, try and get that quick escape point. Yep, Wyatt Wilson just needing really any points here. Yeah, already down six, trying to prevent a major decision. Which, which is the last thing Indiana wants, wants right now. Is they got only have a few wrestlers left after this one. Yeah, only two matchups left after this one. So Indiana actually going to need some points if in this one to have to have any chance of a victory in this meet. But also, just remember, folks, that the individual matchups matter too. Wrestling is the ultimate individual and team sport. Yeah, yeah, because. Uh, you, Especially, especially when it comes to tiebreakers, you know, individual matchup wins plays a huge factor in tiebreakers. So as, Indi as we saw between Indiana and Minnesota earlier than in the year. Yeah, that was a great matchup, like we said earlier, breaking a 31 straight uh, losing, str 31 straight uh, streak of lo losses to the Golden Gophers, winning in Minnesota, an impressive feat. That hasn't really, ha doesn't happen often, obviously, for Indiana. Yeah, winning in a hostile environment such as Minnesota, the Golden Gophers. It is, it is not a feat to scoff at here. 
we've got a minute left here in the second with Quartz, Kenny Quartz leading 10-4. to 4. Still staying out of the major decision territory is Wyatt Wilson, but he's, he, he's got a lot of ground to make up here. Indiana's down by too much to be playing it safe now. Yeah, Wyatt Wilson putting up a better performance than he did last time around against Dominique Abonator of Michigan last week, falling in a pin just one minute into the match. Love that last name, Abonator. Sounds, 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 sounds like a... It sounds a little bit like the Terminator or something like that. It would be a great nickname. It would be. And Wyatt Wilson could have a nickname of his own. Yeah? What do you think? I got, I got nothing right now. I don't know about you. I don't know. I think for him, a nickname that he'd like is W. This is Dwyer Wilson, and he, he Indiana needs a W here down he, 14. He's going to have to dig deep to find this one, the way Kenny Court's been wrestling. Yeah, just 19 seconds here in the second period remaining. Kenny Court's holding on to that six-point advantage. Yeah, we got 12 seconds left. Mostly unchanged here, but Kenny Court's going for a leg. Oh, nice, nice move by Wyatt Wilson there, getting out of there. Yeah, yeah. Wyatt Wilson in that kung fu stance, trying to hold on here. And he, and he gets to take down the last second there. That's, that's going to be another two points at the last moment for Kenny Court. So a 12 to 4 lead heading to the third period. Yep, and that's major decision territory right there. And Wyatt Wilson's got to watch out because Kenny Court has is known for pulling away late. Yeah, Wyatt Wilson needs needs uh need, needs to win this round. He's going to avoid the major decision here and put put Indiana in about as tough a hole as you could climb, possibly climb out of. Yeah, Kenny Quartz doesn't have any pinfalls in his career or it, on on this season, excuse me. But he does have eight. He does have three technical falls. He'll try to make it four if he can edge out Wilson this Wyatt, period. Wyatt Wilson, on the other hand, actually has two pinfalls this year. Uh, he'll need a third if Indiana wants to survive here. Okay, if a pinfall here would be monumental for Wyatt Wilson and the Hoosiers in, in their confidence. Yeah, looking ahead too, we've got a great one coming up. I, I, I know I said that no, no wrestling this Ohio State squad is, is uh, really you can circle as a, as a victory, but in these last two matchups, these are pro probably the most winnable matchups for Indiana coming up next as we've got Jake Massengale taking on Josh Fox at 197 pounds. Yeah, Josh Fox, one of the only um, only wrestlers for Ohio State going on uh, going up tonight. That is under 500 in the season. He's two and six and 0 and two in the conference, and a two-time academic All Big Ten, six and six last year. Like once once I said once again I said uh, two and six this year. Um, he was a high school champion uh, at 195 and a runner-up at 189. And the other matchup that we have left here tonight is the heavyweight match of the big boys. Garrett Goldman, Coach, Coach Dwayne Goldman's son, taking on Nick Tavanello. And, the, and again, no, no easy wins here, but these, these, are ones, these are ones that Indiana's going to have to have if they're going to have any chance here of coming back. Yeah, they're going to need points in a hurry if they want to come back here, trying to get their fourth Big Ten win of the season. So far, they're Stay only above 500 in conference play. So far, their only victories tonight are Luke Blanton beating Hunter Stieber and Jake Danishak taking down Justin Krasovic, the, the late sub for Jake Ryan. And a two-point takedown for Quartz makes it 15 to five. Excuse me, 17 to five. And Wilson's got to watch out because. A couple more points and it turns into a technical fall. Which would be uh, disastrous for Indiana. Yeah, Indiana really can't afford that. But it looks like Wilson's going to be able to hold on. We're just seven seconds to go. Although Kenny Quartz is going to go for some more points, he gets two more He gets two points. more and that's going to be it. Kenny Quartz wins 19-6 to with a major decision over Wyatt Wilson here. And that's going to put, put Indiana in a pretty sizable hole here, heading into the final couple matches. Yeah. Really getting into the thick of things, just two, two out of ten meet matches to go. The next one, we've got Josh Fox.